from a thriving school in the Suez Valley to university lecture halls to a prospering business on the Piquet Berg Mountains, one movement has been passionately working to change lives and unleash vast potential. So many South Africans still face untold hardships from a lack of education to poverty. And the way to address that is not through handouts, but rather through a new way of doing business. The VUYA Foundation was founded by VUYA Investment, a broad-based women-led investment company. When VUYA offered its BEE partnership to Henkel SA, it secured a large share in this blue-chip company. With the new partnership, the company grew exponentially, with new ventures in adhesives, quality assurance and facility management, including the very first private-public partnership for the Department of Health in the Western Cape. In 2010, Zico Capital became the main shareholder in Vuyo Investments, a partnership which further strengthened Vuyo's position. With the backing of Vuyo Investments, the Vuyo Foundation works in three areas, early childhood development, education, and small businesses focusing on women. Vuyo Foundation is different in that we believe we should be sustainable and we therefore run every venture like a business. One of the first projects we undertook was to establish an early childhood development facility in Prince Alfred Hamlet. Opikopi is situated in a poverty-stricken area. The parents of these community are mainly seasonal farm workers. Out of that comes a lot of neglect. And the need for Vuya to have entered in a caring way that runs into actions makes it possible for these kids to enter the mainstream schooling system as great R's in a more positive way. Working with the Wittenberg municipality, we have secured an area of land with a 99-year lease. Through a partnership with Henko and with the help of 26 architecture students from the University of Aachen in Germany, a crash was built. It was called Opikopi after the mountains surrounding the school. Opikopi Kreis is verantwoordelijk for 76 kleders, that is in the ouderdom of 2 and 5 years. Sins and meisies, Afrikaans spreken, so well as Skosa spreken, ons voorzien 2 eters per dag, on bite and middag eten, and on the dag program, as ons leer for the basis and manieren aan, ook goeie hygiene, as ook op voetkundige speeljies en taakjes wat die kleders verricht word. Opikopi receives government funding, but is reliant on the foundation for over half of its running costs. We're always on the lookout for money, goods or services, because every year the needs of the recipients changes. To date, the foundation has also helped over 30 young people to further their studies. One such success story is Andre Peterson, a talented jazz musician who completed his master's degree with distinction through the Lemons Institute in Belgium. Being able to interact with world-class musicians and educators has really stretched me personally and artistically. I'd like to thank the Vuyo Foundation and in particular Mrs. Isaacs for their support. Kieran Fritz lost both his parents when he was halfway through his degree in sports science. The Vuyo Foundation stepped in. They paid my debt. They also paid for my final two years of studying. This gave me the self-belief and confidence to complete my studies. Kieran has been an exceptional student and we do expect him to graduate cum laude. His story could have been a very different one, however and the financial relief from Vuya Foundation has made a very significant difference in his life. Kaylan Besik dreamt of becoming a psychologist when she fell pregnant in matric. When I was expecting Gabby, I thought that that was it for me. But with the help of Vuya Foundation, I'm now proud to say that I'm going into my second year in psychology at UWC. Often these young people just need somebody who believes in them, trusts them and make their dream come true. I cannot wait to one day help people with my job. Thank you, Vuya and the team. On top of the Piquet Big Mountains, a group of previously unemployed farm workers has been making delicious jobs for the last 12 years. Ntaba means mountain in Kosa. They use traditional recipes with fruit that is grown on the mountain to make the most divine jams and chutneys, just like our grandmothers used to do. Itaba was founded in 2002 by Isandla, an investment group who gave them the startup capital. An old church was purchased and 10 women were given the opportunity to start the jam factory. When Vuya Foundation got involved, 
we recognize that they have excellent products, good quality, but no markets. In 2008, the Villa Foundation helped Intaba to strike their first big deal with Woolworths. Intaba had from three or four people in the beginning of the year to 14 people who are now here at work. And I believe that Intaba will be able to go to work and to help us as people can double. Intaba now also supplies Melissa's, an upmarket coffee franchise with bottled fruit, chutney and other products. Itaba is an example of how, if you support women, give them an opportunity, they can grow from strength to strength. We are Foundation is not about fuzzy, warm stuff. It's about the real issues of children at a crash, students who are left with no support, and businesses that have no money, no markets, and no opportunities. My late father always said, education is your only salvation. This is a motto we've taken, and so we believe giving people that kickstart in life. So we are particularly excited about the second crash that's opening in Woolsley this year. The Vuya Foundation is serious about making an impact on the lives of people. This is only the beginning.